Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. Now, one of the many benefits of being on YouTube and being on the internet is that you have the opportunity to connect with a lot of people from around the world. And one of the largest communities that actually watches my videos on my channel is the Linux community. But the thing is, I don't understand a lot of how Linux is used around the world. Now, us as Linux users, we do know that Linux is everywhere. But a lot of times when people think about Linux, they're thinking about Linux as a desktop operating system and not on servers or on Android on the kernel level. They're not thinking about that. They're thinking about it as a desktop operating system. And so the majority of times when I see the comments or people leaving ideas, they're not from the U.S. You know, a lot of times it's from places like Europe, like Eastern Europe or places like the Philippines, you know, or just other countries outside of the United States. Because in the United States, Linux as a desktop operating system is not something that is common actually it's very rare and also it's not something that is pushed by the governments and institutions and businesses as a option to use or as their main desktop operating system and so hopefully with this series of videos that I'm creating I'll be able to get a better sense from you the viewers who actually use Linux in your countries because I only know like what I understand and so the first country that I want to start with is Europe because a lot of people leave comments on my videos they're actually from Eastern Europe or maybe from the UK and so I'm really interested as how the desktop operating system is used there now in terms of what I understand about how Linux is used in European countries it's primarily because of two things and this is the same reasons why Linux is used more heavily in other countries uh, such as China or India or South America it's costs and also control you know a lot of these countries whenever you think about Windows or Mac and everything that surrounds it there's a lot of costs involved and at the same time if more and more governments use Windows or Mac they do actually give up a measure of control because the licensees and all the services that are co like owned by those companies they actually not owned by those governments in those countries and so there is a measure of control there so that gets in the whole uh, political stuff but the main thing is that Linux is a huge potential cost savings for a lot of these companies and so some of the biggest countries and cities that I know that really push the Linux as a main desktop operating system is first in Munich Germany in Munich I think more than a decade ago they start to really heavily push Linux as a desktop operating system with their own version which is Limux I think it's L-I-M-U-X and um, I, the majority of these distros they are basically versions modified versions of an Ubuntu based or Debian based in this case it was Debian based now uh, here recently uh, the city of Munich they are going back to Windows um, however just a simple fact that they pushed Linux desktop operating system as their main operating system to replace Windows that's a pretty big thing and Linux as a whole is used pretty heavily um, in Munich okay so it's not going away it's just not the main thing that they're using anymore and also in other countries like France you know or Spain Spain also had their own uh, distro version as well which I think it was Ubuntu based and also in uh, countries I think also in Denmark I don't think Norway Norway is heavily uh, Windows and also in the UK as well and so um, though that's my understanding of why it was so popular and then when it comes to uh, Russia Russia itself also has pushed Linux as a desktop operating system uh, primarily because of the control factor although you know with any one of these there's definitely cost benefits as well unless you have problems with custom programs that simply don't work with Linux and then also I think because of uh, the proximity of where all these European countries are Eastern Europe in my opinion is probably the place where there's the most uh, Linux users that I could see from the comments but I'm not really familiar with how Linux as a desktop operating system is so popular or uh, so more common in those countries than they are in other parts of the country because uh, like I said a lot of my comments there are from parts of Eastern Europe I don't really know of that many um, actual desktop users who use Linux on a daily basis um, in these uh, European countries whether it would be at school or whether it would be in their workplace or even uh, just personally you know like when you are going out to coffee shops do you see more people using the Linux desktop operating system in these European countries I would gather yes but here in the United States it's extremely 
rare. And so that's it for my first episode on Linux in other countries, starting with Linux in Europe. And as I said earlier, I really do not know much about it. You know, I really only know much about it because of the fact that people from these countries are actually leaving comments in there. And I'd really like to know more about how Linux is used in your country. And so the next ones that I'm going to go through is going to be Linux used in Asia, uh, Linux used in South America and so forth. But I'd also like any of your ideas as well if you are in those countries. And so if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another episode. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.